Hi guys, it's Thursday today, the 25th of August, 2022. Uh, I've got a, uh, a machine here. Um, probably thinking, what is this thing here? This is a, uh, a chocolate. It's basically from uh, Audi and it's exactly like a bounty. It's a damn sight cheaper. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm gonna grab one of those and try them. But look at that, that looks amazing. I'll have that in a bit. You don't want to hear me eating on the screen. Um, so I've got this Acer uh, 523, ES1 523, similar to 524, and uh, it's come in with no power. So this is the first thing I generally do is make sure that that is working, the charger connector. So I've just got to get my, uh, my, I've got some of the probes in. Um, that I bought the other day that can actually fit into uh, the uh, some of these chargers are really thin so I've got a it's a pretty thick terminal so I've got the other one which is a lot thinner than that one so I'll take it out of here and uh, put this one in as you can see that's a lot sharper a lot thinner it would easily get into the uh, charging in. So let's put that onto voltage, get the range, put it in the middle there, move we'll the decimal point along. Yeah, that's the sharp one. I need that one, I need this one. Let me get the other one out of the way. Okay, so let's see. I've got the charger, it's on. So we should have 20 volts, or well, 19, whatever it's coming out of that. There you go. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there you go, you've got 19. Bolts coming out there. That's fine. What I tend to do sometimes is I put it in there and I hold the connector here and then I'll wiggle it just over here just to see if there's any loose connections or sometimes there can be cracks in that part there and they mean you need a new charger. So that one's fine. Now just to give you the heads up I have had this machine in for a couple of days and it was sometimes when you do this job, you sort of look at the obvious stuff and you test this and you test capacitors and you think, ah, do you know what? Ah, I don't know what it is. I ain't got a clue. So you just have to walk away and start again. So uh, if you look just there, you can see there is a uh, an orange light which is flashing. So if I press the power button, the blue light will flicker on for a second and go off. Can you see that? Just there. I can hear the fan starting, so if I just zoom in a little bit, I'm not sure you can see that, but yeah, you can. That's gone off. So, uh, but the light staying on, or the, the battery light, which is a, not a bad, not a bad sign. Just zoom out slightly. Okay, so just to keep the video a bit short, sometimes things can get really long. You're testing capacitors and all that kind of stuff. And some people don't know we really have all that so they can at least do the basics so now the key, as you as you've seen the uh, the power buttons on the keyboard so there'll be a flex either a separate flex for the power button connected to the motherboard or there'll be or it'll go via the keyboard this one however goes via the keyboard so i'm just going to pop those connectors off and then we'll see this is what i did just to diagnose the fault <clears throat> so I'll put this, the charger in now. Now there's a pin here. Oh, I haven't got my tweezers on the desk. I'll just go and grab them. Okay, so I've got my tweezers, tweezer. So you've got a pin here, 28. That's the uh, the keyboard connector on the left side, 28 and 27. If you touch those, it will, it will, it will act as if it's the power button being pressed. So you will see that that light should flash on and off so and if you look on the left here uh, so that's the fan and the fan just kick starts and goes off so i did i tested all the capacitors i tested the uh the lid lid capacitor which is just there that's all fine um so this is what i do to diagnose so that's the usb board i have i had looked in the usb uh, connector there that seems fine i looked in the connectors on that side the hdmi connector and the usd and the, uh, the USB, sorry, 
and the Ethernet connector. That all seems to be fine. So what I go what I go around doing, which I should have done, which I should have done straight away, I didn't. I thought can't be that. So uh, I unplug this connector. That's for the USB board. Then I'll go and test. Exactly the same thing. These are the speakers. I'll pull that out. Are they creating an issue? Exactly the same thing. Uh, I'll pull the fan out. Exactly the same thing. So I'm going to put the fan back in. So if there is some power somewhere, that will stay on. I'll disconnect the battery. Is the battery causing an issue? I have no idea. So I'll do the same thing here. Exactly the same thing. And I would, I've also, I'll also take out the, um, the Wi-Fi card. And it will be the same. There you go. So that's fine. I'll pop that back in now. Um, and I know that's not causing an issue. Just put it back in so I don't lose the screw. Although I've got spared anyway. Uh, and then I will pull out the LCD connector. Now I've done loads of laptops over the years, hundreds actually. And uh, sometimes you, you know, you're, you've, you've repaired a machine six months ago, exactly the same, and you've repaired a capacitor or something, or replaced a capacitor. And that's usually what they are most of the time on the kind of similar faults on these type of machines. Uh, but the odd one, you think, ah, it can't be that, it can't be that. But, so then I disconnected the LCD cable and do the same thing here. Jackpot. So that the actual LED power light is staying on. The fan is spinning. Now, uh, I have, as I said before, uh, in the video, I have done, done some other work on the machine, as in to look around. So I took off uh, the, the bezel for the LCD. I also disconnected the LCD, thinking if that's causing a problem, plug it back in again. Oh, it just, it just uh, you can see it just shorted there. So let's just get it off. On. Oh, should. Come on, yeah. I'll get that out of the way. Um, I, in fact, I'm going to switch the machine off. I don't want it to create a short area. Um, so the actual fault. And I also disconnected the camera, which is behind the bezel here, just there. So it's take the bezel off, um, we can disconnect the camera, that's what I did first. Then I did it again, same thing happened. Disconnected the, uh, uh, the LCD and uh, plugged this back in on this side, same thing happened again. So the fault is basically with the LCD cable. In fact, when I, when I actually uh, put the camera back in, I plug this here. There was a bit of smoke that came out on this side, which can be quite dangerous. Now, what I also noticed was previously somebody has, has replaced. Um, in fact, I'll show you. It won't take me long. So, um, uh, this screw is there for some reason. Where's that from? Anyway, so I'll just pop off the uh, the bezel. It doesn't take long. Um, from there from earlier pop the screen out so someone's had a butcher's before has had a go on this machine and um, yeah there's uh, brown tape I mean who does that? Who puts brown tape on? What's the point of that? So, uh, just pull the LCD uh, connector off. So the actual issue is it's singed behind there. So I've ordered uh, a new LCD cable and I think that will do the job. So I will update you when that arrives and uh, fingers crossed, all will be well. Um, meanwhile, you know, I had my gardener around earlier, earlier on and uh, you know all the price rises and stuff so I can't do your garden I says, why not and he's a landscape gardener he said could your garden's portrait <laughs>
more train. Anyway, I'll see you later.